after school fight. The latest in what appears to be an increasing trend to settle differences brutally. What makes this fight different is that this one is about to be reported. This is Nancy Martin, student editor of the school paper. What she sees prompts her decision to do something. To Nancy, the fight is the subject of a legitimate news story. She will discover that there can be a difference of opinion. It's certainly a very vivid picture, but why bring it to me? Mr. Bishop, I want to use this picture on the front page of our next issue. Oh, come now, Nancy. We can't print a picture like that. The paper is read by people all over the city. Students take it home. It's read by their parents. Just think what a picture like that would do to the reputation of our school. Now, that would be in very poor taste. But, Mr. Bishop, this sort of thing is going on all the time. And if something isn't done about it now, someone's going to be seriously hurt. I think we have an obligation to print it. Nancy, we live in a world that's troubled enough as it is. It isn't the purpose of any newspaper well on the problems. That isn't what the people want to read. What effect do you think this picture would have on the students involved? What about the damage to them? Mr. Bishop, I don't think that's the point. What about the damage to them and all the others if this sort of thing isn't stopped? I think you're exaggerating. There have always been fights. There always will be, and surely printing this picture isn't going to help solve the situation. But Mr. Bishop, I think that's the purpose of a newspaper, to let the people know about the things that are going wrong, about the things that ought to be corrected. After all, the world isn't going to be any better. Nancy, so how is it going to be a better world if all our newspapers do is print stories of uh, fights and robberies and murders? I believe it will help. I don't think we should hide things just because they're unpleasant. How do we stop things like this if we don't let the people know they're happening? Nancy, I'm sorry, we can't print this. You stick to school news. Leave this sort of thing to newspapers that make their living by sensationalism. But, Mr. Bishop, this isn't sensationalism. Look at John's face. He's been out of school now for two days. Don't you think it's time we did something about this? That isn't the purpose of the newspaper. Certainly not the school newspaper. We want to show the good side of human nature. We want to show the worthwhile things our students are doing, not the bad things. Well, I'm sorry, it is clear that there is strong disagreement. Mr. Bishop sees the photo and news story as sensationalism to unduly alarm parents and to damage the school's reputation. Nancy feels that a newspaper, any newspaper, has the obligation to deliberately deal with those things which demand public attention. How do you feel about the controversy? What do you think a good citizen should feel?